I'm actually finding it doesn't feel like acting, it feels like a different challenge. Um, and I feel like what's exciting is when, when it feels like I'm on top of the rhythm, it's quite a meditative state that you have to get in. And it's sort of, the piece kind of eventually, you, you know, depending on where I'm at in my head, you have to sort of quiet the noise to just focus. But when that locks in, it's sort of, the piece cast is kind of magic and you can just, it's been really nice, it's really nice feeling when that, uh, when it's riding and the piece sort of is like, I feel like a vessel, like it's going through me. Um, so that's been really nice. And I guess I was worried about not having someone else on stage to react to, um, to have something to focus on to not um, freak out. But I guess the audience becomes that and um, I think it's a really, good thing to experience. When I lose it, there's no one else, you just got to get your nerve back. It's like grabbing onto the nerve and just keep going. <laughs> and just like, you know, hope it's going to just click back in. And that's kind of scary, but kind of thrilling and also liberating to go, right, it's all down to me. Come on. Don't let yourself down. Let's go. It's great. Let's do the high wire act. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's a um, mental challenge. Yeah. Probably the biggest mental challenge I've done so far. I think the thing about being in the rehearsal room with Kate, doing that and finding that, is that there is something really magical about that, that you feel that there's a really kind of extraordinary connection because you see what she goes through to make us see all the pictures and understand it. I think more than anything I've ever done, you feel a shared sense of achievement at the end. And when, is that right? Is that yes. when people have come into the room and watched it, it's like a weird thing at the end, isn't it? How everyone sort of comes together. It's like we've all been through that with you. Yeah, which isn't the same as doing a play. It, totally. It feels like much more of a, I make the commitment to have a go at this and you make the commitment to come along with me. And it's like, well, it's what we were talk you were talking about before about theatre is now the only place other than a church or a, a religious place where you don't have your phone and you're all looking at this one thing on stage and you're all committing. And I think this kind of piece really suits that because it's it's rewarding, you know, it, it earns that yeah. commitment, I think. It requires okay. quite a bit from the audience, I think, as well as from you, I think. Well, it requires a lot, but it's so generous to the audience because we place ourselves immediately in the story yeah. and in her life and in all the things she's telling us about her life. Mm -hmm. So it feels... It feels like it, it feels like it goes by in ten minutes, doesn't it? And it's like forty five minutes long, which still isn't long, it's long to do. Yeah. But it just feels like so fast because it's all about the pictures that are in your brain. So it's a real thing about imagination and communications.